The battle droid army has retreated back to the Zepho village. After their Pyrrhic victory, they decide to regroup, making themselves stronger to defend the bridge defense that comes next. On top of that, they bought themselves time to get General Grievous, the arch nemesis of the clones, forward with more battle droid reinforcements. But Commander Wolf and the 104th Wolf Pack Battalion have landed. The shiny troopers are taking a break, resting and defending the bridge, while the Wolf Pack will push forward in their assault. The veterans are taking over the battlefield. What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today we are back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War Mod, continuing our planetary invasion that we are doing here. So in the last episode we went ahead and had the clones invade and they failed but just barely. There was like 10 droids left and uh, the last six clones I accidentally yoded on in there. Uh, so that's my bad but... <laughs> They probably would have lost anyway, so now they are uh, defending the bridge somewhat with some e-web turrets and one mortar while the wolf pack actually pushes forward. Meanwhile, the droids are defending the bridge and they have a pretty good defense force here with General Grievous actually going to be assaulting the bridge simultaneously. So there's a lot of moving parts to this battle. It should be pretty awesome. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're working our way towards 600,000 subscribers. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. Either way, let's get this thing going. What's going on, guys? Real quick, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans puts the player as the chief of a village, and it tasks them to build their own village using the resources gained from attacking other players' villages with soldiers. You can acquire those soldiers by earning rewards, buying them with medals, or producing them at their own village. I've been playing Clash for years, and it's actually one of my favorite mobile games out there. It has some of the most in-depth tactics and strategies that you can get for a mobile game, especially as you grow and build your village up and have to fight more and more powerful villages and defend your village better. I highly recommend going and checking out Clash of Clans. It is for free, link in the description below to go and check it out and download it on your mobile device. Thank you so much to Clash of Clans for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for watching the ad. Let's get into the rest of the video here. All right, boys, let's go in slow-mo for the start here. We do have Commander Wolf right here, along with some ARF troopers leading the way across the bridge. Let's see how this ends up going. I made all of the battle droids who are defending the bridge red, so they're all security droids, fittingly enough. And I made all of General Grievous' reinforcements plain standard battle droids. So that way we can tell the difference between the two of them. And I think that'll make it pretty neat. Uh, either way, these ARF troopers are having a rough time. They uh, have already taken a lot of shots. Luckily, we are seeing some clone trooper reinforcements coming up here. And getting shots of their own out there, which should help out with uh, the suppression that currently is going on. And now they seem to be actually suppressing the droids pretty decently. So this is not too bad, actually. The slaughter at the bridge ended up not being too much of a slaughter and more of just an inconvenience. <laughs> Although now more ARF troopers are going down and uh, that's not good. We need these guys to stay up, up, up. I do have to say there are quite a number of droids just sort of ducking under cover here. Um, if they were all up and firing right now, the clone troopers would be under a lot more stress. That would be absolutely brutal. There we go. A few more are trying to fire here, uh, but you know, not to worry. There's a whole horde of droids coming forward with General Greavy, baby, right here. He's doing a little army crawl up here. I don't know why he's army crawling. Do not underestimate Grievous. <laughs> he is a beast on the battlefield. He's not very good in this game at getting kills, but he is so hard to actually kill himself due to the amount of health and lightsabers that he has, which can deflect incoming shots. Okay, the bridge is continuing to receive a lot of fire. Ooh! That must have been a mortar shot right there. A little bit of shelling going on from the clone troopers. Although that thing is probably going to end up being fairly defensive at the end of the day because I don't think it's actually going to have much range past this area here. So that'll probably be that. I, I don't think it'll be able to shoot much farther. It's really if the droids manage to stop the wolf pack from coming forward, then the mortar can hopefully stop the droids from coming forward and they lose all of the progress that they have made in this planetary invasion. 
thus far, but we'll just have to wait and see because we really don't know. So far, this invasion has not been going super well for the clone troopers. I mean, they've basically lost, you know, a thousand soldiers in the very first battle that we saw. Uh, a very, very disastrous, disastrous battle for the clones. Um, and now they're struggling to get off the bridge, but, but they are just now starting to get those soldiers past it, which is good. We'll see if these droids manage to come up and reclaim it because they do have that big horde coming forward. Um, and if that horde gets forward and starts firing, then these droids on the flanks will be able to fire more as well, be less suppressed with that sort of dual pincer movement action going on. So it, it could be pretty cool. Also, sorry if I'm like clunkily moving around the camera in this uh, battle. I, I think I'm doing an okay job, but my regular mouse just like pooped the bed. It's dead. It doesn't work at all anymore. I don't know why. And uh, so now I'm using my old uh, Logitech uh, wireless mouse from when I was in college. <laughs> so we'll see how that works out. Um, it, it's it's very clunky. I like my gaming mouse. I'm a gamer. I need my gaming utilities. But sadly, I have been nerfed. The gods have decided to nerf me, and it is very So. It is what it is. Either way, Grievous is getting out there. Right now, he's kind of ducking undercover behind one of these rocks right here. Uh, but I think he's distracting a lot of the incoming clone trooper fire, which is very helpful for the droids to get up over this way. Oh, another mortar shot right there. Yeah, it seems to always be shooting right in that little range, so I think that is as far as it can go. Um, but either way, the rest of these droids being able to come up and over as General Grievous sort of leads the charge here is allowing these droids to somewhat reclaim the bridge area. There's still a number of clones at the bridge area past it, as you can see right there. They got behind that little uh, fortification, which is helpful for them. Ooh, grenades going out right now. Um, but the rest of them have been sort of backed up to the bridge itself uh, and are now, once again, just taking immense amounts of fire right here. This is some serious brutality. Let me go ahead and just real, real quick here. Check out the losses. Yellow are dead clones. Red are dead droids. Droids certainly taking a beating. The clones taking a much more concentrated beating. All of their deaths are really in that immediate bridge vicinity, uh, which is not helpful for them at all. Grievous getting an ARF Trooper kill right there. I'm even surprised there's ARF Troopers like still alive on the battlefield. That is somewhat shocking to me considering the fact that they were they were the first up and over. ARF Troopers lead the way, baby. But at the same time, ARF Troopers tend to die because they lead the way. So it's not great. It's not great at all. <laughs> it's no bueno. You hate to see it. This is no good. Um, we do still have shinies, of course, left alive on the back defenses. Oh, a couple of them have been sniped out, actually. That's strange. I kind of would have thought the droids wouldn't be able to snipe those guys out. They would be mainly going for the wolf pack troopers, but hey, maybe the, the snipe, the snipe babies over here uh, have been able to sort of hit them nicely. That's what's doing them in. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but that seems plausible to me. Uh, either way, Grievous over here is really deep. Oh, it's Grievous versus, versus Wolf. The mono e mono one on one. Okay, Wolf ran away, so that, it's not really happening anymore. Rip, rip, potato chip to that. Could have been cool, but Wolf, you're a coward. Oh, he's going back in there. He heard my fighting words, and Wolf dies. <laughs> Grievous takes down Wolf. What the heck? Okay, I'm sorry, Grievous. Or, I'm sorry, Wolf, rather. I kind of goaded him into attacking right there, and uh, he paid the ultimate price. He really did. <laughs> He is now big dead. Very, very big dead. Okay, the rest of the clone troopers over here, though, just full firing at Grievous right now. Uh, it has given the droids opportune time uh, to get more of their reinforcements up here, though. They are taking a bloodbath up this way. Look at this. They keep coming up over this ridge, firing away, and then getting gunned down by the clone troopers below. So clearly not working out too well for them. Uh, but this is truly a meat grinder of a battle. This is as meat grinder as it gets, I would say, when it comes to the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. This is... The Meat Grinder. Welcome to the Clone Wars, baby. Uh, and uh, I say we go ahead and bump it up a speed here. Hopefully my computer can handle that okay. Yeah, it seems to be doing all right. Uh, but now we will be seeing the Meat Grinder in its full action and glory. I'm actually surprised these uh, red security droids are still alive over here. Uh, it's a pretty good position for them to be in, especially since one of them's got an E5 rifle and the other has a uh, big boom boom. What is that? An RT-98... 
Sea or some, something like that is what it's called. I'm not entirely sure, but either way, that's a heavy machine gun. Should be uh, rather usable in a situation like this. Look at this, the clones were so stuck. Grievous? Is, is he dead? He might just be unconscious. I think he is unconscious. What did I tell you guys about Grievous being an absolute beast when it comes to this thing? It's, it's absolutely crazy. Um, either way, I do need you guys to comment down below your vote on what happens in the next battle. This is going to be an interactive series. Uh, in the last battle, a lot of people said that they wanted to see the Wolf Pack and Commander Wolf being the reinforcements, since we haven't seen them in a few videos at this point. Um, so I was more than happy to oblige with that. And I saw a lot of people just wanting Grievous to be the enemy. So, um, you know, Wolf is down for the count right now, but maybe he will come back in the next video. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. You guys vote on that. Uh, and if General Grievous goes down, you guys can vote on if he stays. Um, and if the clones win, you know, we could either have the droids retreat back and fight in the within the city here. I was also thinking maybe like a riot in the city under clone occupation could be kind of cool. That might be kind of a neat idea, I suppose. Um, and maybe, you know, the droids send in a new leader, maybe Asajj Ventress, something like that. Uh, and maybe the clones send in Klo, the Jedi. I can't say his last name or else I will get demonetized on YouTube. Um, but we can send in Klo. Uh, to, to help clean up the city streets. Um, or we could, we could send in another clone legion. This could become a, um, you know, a dual legion operation here. That could be kind of neat to see as well. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see because uh, there are a multitude of awesome possibilities uh, that we could do in this. You know, it's pretty limitless as to, as to what we can do. It's, it's all up to our imagination. Either way, why don't we go ahead and bump it up another speed here. This is just a, a, really a full-on meat grinder. There has been no progress... Whoa. No progress has been made in terms of the actual, like, advancement of the clones nor the droids. It is purely this bridge just being the focal point of a serious, serious war. Um, with just clones getting absolutely obliterated on this side. Meanwhile, the droids are getting absolutely obliterated over here. So it is truly back and forth with no clear-cut winner as of yet. Uh, and it's going to continue that way, I think, for a few more minutes here as they just fire and fire and fire. This, this is brutal, man. Actually, more clones have managed to cross over now, which is good for them. Uh, Grievous retreated back here. How much health does Grievous have, by the way? Check that out. Um, he's decently low on health. Uh, it's that dual lightsaber ability that he's got. He can deflect more shots with him according to like the in-game mechanics and stuff like that, uh, which just makes him incredibly, incredibly hard to take down. He is a tough nut to crack. He is one tough cookie. So, um, yeah, the droids, the droids have a good leader behind them. And I think the sort of, you know, ability for the boys uh, to defeat him and, and stuff like that is really tough. It's, it's tough to take him down, uh, and I think that the clones are, are really profiting off of that. <laughs> the fact that the, you know, or sorry, the droids are really profiting off of that. The fact that the droids, uh, the clones aren't able to take out Joe Grievous is distracting a lot of fire and stuff like that. Sorry, it took me forever to get those words out. He's now hiding behind a rock right there. Been nice! Alright, maybe he's going to heal up a little bit. Maybe he's going to try and get back into the Mojo Jojo. Uh, the rest of those security droids did end up dying over there. We've still got a nice wall of security droids over this way, including a couple of snipers, um, who are probably just continually getting kills here at this point. Let's see. How many kills you got? Four. How many kills you got? 36! This guy's a beast! 37 now! What the heck, dude? 38! Wow. This guy's got none. That is insane, though. This guy's got none. This guy's got none. Okay. Been nice. Um, any other droids, like, got an absurd amount of kills? Not really. All of, all of these guys have one or two each. Okay. That's decent. That's pretty decent. Nuts. How about you? You're a sniper, but you have no range, so you don't have any kills. Um, wow. Okay. Well, that is really something, isn't it? That one droid single-handedly took out, like, three or four squads of clone troopers. That is impeccable. Really, really, really crazy. Um, the rest of these clone troopers are still attempting to go across the bridge. 
but they are losing steam. At the very least, they've wiped out a solid number of Grievous' troopers. Oh, that mortar can fire this far back. Okay. Alright, that's all. How many kills does the mortar have? Hold on. Hold on. Nine. Okay. I thought it might be a little bit better than that, but okay. Uh, this shiny clone trooper has ten kills with the DC-15A. That's impressive. This guy's got six. This guy's got none. This guy's got none. This guy's got one. Okay. Decent. Decent. How about you guys? This guy's got none. This guy's got two. This guy's got two. Uh, this guy's got seven, this guy's got three, and this guy's got three. Okay. Some of the frontliners actually racking up some kills here. I kind of thought the clones were just about to get defeated, but then all of a sudden, they're still holding out, and they're pushing forward. So, uh, just a very quick rally right there for the clone trooper army, uh, and they might be off to the races in this battle. They, they might be able to make a little bit of a comeback. They might be able to swing it, baby. Let's see. They still have quite a number of defenses to take out for the droids. But if they do that, you know, they're in business. Okay, another clone dead right there. If they if they kill the, the red death over here, that's what we're calling this guy. Oh, nope. Wait, he died. Oh, the red death died. Unless it's him. Oh, it's him. Never mind. That is not the red death. This is the red death. The red death is still alive with 39 kills. Oh, my God. How about you? You have 31. Wow, these E5 riflemen are nuts. Uh, yeah, if the clones kill these two sniper droids, they are seriously in business. Um, if they don't, they are seriously in trouble, I will say, because they are absolutely brutal. They are just taking them down, man. Like, between the two of them, they got 70 kills. There's nothing to scoff at in the slightest. It's very, very impressive stuff. Incredibly much. Okay, um, we do have like a, actually a little bit of side action over here. These droids could come around, like, you know, station up right here, get some flank shots in there. Oh, then they'd expose themselves to this blob of clones that are like just chilling at the bridge still. So that might not be super plausible. That might end up being a bit rough for them. Oh, this is this is truly a meat grinder. This might be the meat grindiest of grinder battles we've ever had on the channel. <laughs> I don't know if we've ever had a more meat grinder battle. Yeah, take a quick sip of the bean juice. I will say I am really excited about later today because I'm gonna be uh, going to Brixen Minifigs for the first time, um, which is like a Lego store. Um, you might have one in your area. They are all over the US um, but uh, yeah there is one in Austin I'm going today um, I'm making a video out of it for the daily bricks channel uh, but basically I'm bringing a bunch of um, old Legos that I don't need slash use anymore I'm gonna sell them to them and then use that to um, purchase some new Lego that I do want slash need so uh, I'm pretty stoked about that I think it'll be really fun um, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to just sort of check out what they've got too I think that'll be pretty cool so yeah pretty hyped pretty hyped oh it's that mortar dude just knocked Grievous unconscious again right there yikes goodness Ooh. Yeah, how much range does this thing have? I, this thing's got crazy range. How many kills does it have right now? 16. Okay, 16 is decent. That's pretty decent. It's no red death snipers, though. Ooh, this thing can go 100 and... No, it can go 210 meters away? It can hit all the way over here. Oh, my God. That is absurd. I, normal mortars in Men of War Assault Squad 2... I'm pretty sure only go 100 meters. That is insane! Okay, absolutely nuts. Didn't realize the mortar was that broken. That is absurd. Um, and if the Republic does succeed in this mission here, they do get to acquire the airfield, which will allow for LAAT reinforcements to come in pretty easily. Um, they won't have captured the city, though, yet. So I suppose, actually, the next logical battle would be the invasion of the city. Um, and, and we could bring in tanks finally into this because this is such close quarter fighting. Tanks aren't really possible for either side. Really have to just use E-Web turrets as well as mortars and stuff like that. Uh, but with the air, uh, airfield available, the clone should be able to fly in, uh, some serious tanks and stuff like that. So that, that should be pretty cool. It'll be interesting to see. All right, why don't we go into fast speed here for a little bit. Uh, we still seem to be in meat grinder mode here. 
Um, still completely unsure as to who's gonna win this thing. Clones are not sending any more forces forward. They're all chilling back here right now. Uh, meanwhile, the droids also kind of chilling in the back. All right, now some clones are getting moving. All right, clones are moving and grooving. Uh, if the mortar just directed its attention this way, it'd be kind of nuts to kill these snipers. This guy's got 43 kills now, and this guy's got 41. They have 84 kills between the two of them. What the heck, dude? That is absolutely impeccable. That is that is crazy, crazy stuff. So, absolutely nuts. Um, okay, more, more troopers getting gunned down over here. But they are crossing over the bridge yet again. They're getting some kills, too, on the droids. That's, that's what matters, you know? Knocking down some clankers. Woo! Nice, nice, easy clap. Okay, and they're retreating back again. What are you guys doing? Actually, so unsure as to what you're doing. And Grievous, man, he's got four kills, uh, he's got almost no health, but he is still continuing to be a menace throughout this battle. An absolute menace. Um, does he even have any free-roaming droids left? These are all security droids, so these are all defensive droids, so I guess the droid assault is actually over. Yeah, they only have defenders left. The clones only have... A little bit left. They really don't have too much left. Oh my god. What the heck? So, we're basically in even standings right now because the clones only have defenders left. The droids only have defenders left. Oh, there's one attacking droid right there. One attacking droid. He's dead. Okay. Actually, maybe one or two. Wait, hold on. Is there like a little pocket I missed over here? Apparently there was a couple, but they are now dead. <laughs> they are now deceased. Um, and of course Grievous is here too. So, yeah, the clones and the droids, man, are in completely even standings right now. They both are just defenders. Uh, well, except for, yeah, there's... How many attacking clones? One, two, three... There's three. There's three Wolfpack veteran troopers left alive to attack. Okay, so what I think we're gonna do here is I think we're gonna call this a draw. So yellow are dead clones, red are dead droids. Both sides took immense losses in this meat grinder of a battle. Uh, how many kills did these guys end up getting in total actually? This guy got 44 and this guy got 52. Holy cow, that's insane. Um, so yeah, tell me what you think should happen in the next battle, but I think we're calling this a draw since both sides only have defenders left. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think happens in the next battle. Be sure to comment that down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button. But I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.